This is the, uh, the first time I've seen you since the SFA notice of complaint came out. Can you give us your reaction to that, please? Yeah, I'll deal with it. I mean, that's all. That's really all I'm going to say about it. You know, um, we've got the statement and we'll be considering it. That's all. Are you going to go in person to deal with I think you've got to. Yeah. You got there to. Some reports yesterday you might take a lawyer along with you. Is that like the mark? Or uh, that you, it's, it's, you know, it's we're we're entitled to, and it's something that we're entitled to consider. So that'll be part of the. You know, we've not actually said I'm not sitting down with Alan Burrows, and together read through the the statement. Um, so we'll decide as we go, but that really, you know, I, I haven't had that. We've conscious, we've, we've deliberately put set it aside and. Uh, um, you know, concentrated on this week, you know, so the game, so that's the priority. You do feel like, though, that, that you know, you were quite hard done by it, it's fair to say. Are you... I, I, listen, I'm not going to say any more about it, you know. We've got a game on Saturday, there'll be plenty talking about this once it, it comes round to the, the hearing and that, and then we can discuss it and I'll tell you how it feels. Are you taking out all your frustrations, whatever, in training? How are you feeling, how have you been feeling this week? Um... Without going into sort of back into that, um, it has affected me, um, but I won't allow it to um, uh, affect my performance in terms of pre preparing the team for Saturday. I won't allow that, and you know I've got Steve back now, and you know we're working as a three of us, so uh, we're still sort of trying to find a goalkeeping coach, you know, to bring that part of it in as well. So you know we, we, we're a good team, so I've got people around me that um, you know keep me right. So it's it's fine, yeah. How beneficial has it been having Stephen back? Yeah, good. You know, um, he's been back a couple of days. Um, we're already getting a bit tired of his voice, but, you know, apart from <laughs> that, no, he's good. He's enthusiasm and he's, um, he knows the boys, you know, one or two of the new ones that come in in the summer, obviously he's getting to know, but he's been watching them from a distance. So um, he's hit the ground running, as it were. So, no, he's good because he comes in and he sort of reminds us of a few things that he knows that I like, that maybe I kind of got away from a wee bit and other things that we've introduced and that we're doing that he likes that you know they're different from what we were doing when he was here before last season different players obviously he's getting to know them so um, it, it brings a little bit of freshness to it You said there Mark that you, you weren't going to let things that affect you do you feel you might have to curb your ways a, a wee bit like when you're in the touchline you know, we, we often hear managers saying that about a, a terrific player who maybe you know picks up the odd yellow card and so and so and so on you don't want to take that away I think you know day. what, what I feel what I about feel about my behaviour will come out in the the hearing you know so you know, I'm not going to say any more about it you know. in terms of uh, Performances. What can you, you take from from the Celtic game? Yeah, well, I mean, the the, the most important thing about the, um, the the game at Aberdeen was the performance. You know, all well, that circus around me was irrelevant, really, as far as the players and the team and the the, the, the season's concerned. And we were poor, really poor. Um, but we hadn't been up to that point. You know, our performances against Rangers, our performances against our performance up to the point of leaving, uh, losing Carl McHugh against Hearts. We beat Ross County. I think that we've been convinced that the underlying form is good. Um, we've been competitive and we felt that we could easily have got a bit more out of those games. And to do what we've done at Aberdeen was like such a surprise. You know, we went there believing we could win the game. You know, we knew what a difficult game it would be, but we went there not to sort of, as I say, part the bus, but to go and have a go at winning the game. And to lose the way we did was a surprise. So then we're obviously looking at Celtic and waiting to see what it would look like. Would it look like the Rangers, the the, the Hearts and the, the, the Ross County game, or would it look like Aberdeen? And clearly it looked much more like the Rangers and uh, and Hearts game. So that, for that was reassuring and uh, gives us the confidence to go into Saturday's game, knowing that you know we're not sort of lost the plot, as it were. So that stops you making wholesale changes? To yeah, yeah, absolutely, changes, yeah. absolutely. It's a different dynamic this game, obviously, with the previous two games against the team. Yeah, well, that's right. We've, we've talked a lot about, um, you know, when I've been in here, talked a lot about, you know, the, the importance of kind of retaining some sort of... Uh, uh, mental kind of straight, you know, sort of confidence, if you like, coming out of this difficult period against Rangers and Celtic and Hearts, um, and having retaining a bit of self belief. I think we've managed that, regardless of the Aberdeen game. And now we go in against teams who are in the same area as the, as the league as ourselves, uh, similar budgets, you know, similar expectations. And these are the games that we um, would be expected 
uh, to do a little bit better than, than we've, we've done against the likes of Rangers or something. Because it's so tight down there, these the kind of games that you need, you need to, to get something from. If, if you're going to finish in the top six, you need to win games. You know, if you're going to avoid relegation, you need to win games. Um, so, you know, on a scale of you know one to twelve, you know, uh, you know Dundee come in below. You know, Rangers, Celtic, Hearts, and um, even St Johnston at the moment. So, you know, they, they are much closer to us. They're much more similar to us in in all respects, and therefore we should, you know, at home um, have a chance of getting something. There have been a couple of decent performances, that's certainly against Rangers. Yep. That'll give them a wee a wee spring in their step. You would think. What do you what are you expecting from them? Uh, well, uh, of course, they beat us early in the season up there. Um, even although we had a ridiculous goal disallowed. Um, which I felt changed the game. Um, we know what they're like. They, 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 they always seem to play with a kind of confidence. You know, even when they see them getting beaten, there's a belief about them that is uh, that is uh, impressive at times, you know, and most of the times. And I think that on the back of beating Rangers, they'll come here full of confidence and, and, uh, and belief and, you know, want to have a go. So we expect a very difficult game, you know. But, you know, as I say, I feel that our... Underlying form is good, so you know we'll be ready for it. Stephen McManus, Stephen Hamill. Stephen Hamill and Stephen McManus are both injured. Um, Stephen McManus definitely won't be available. Stephen Hamill remains very doubtful. I see that disrupted things at the start of the game last week. But the way the guys coped was very impressive, given it was three at the four. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know. Um, that's what you hope. You know, you hope when you go. I've been saying this as well that it feels as if we've got a strong squad, both because people like Joe, um, Joe was injured for a long time, of course, but Joe um, Chalmers, even young Alan Campbell, um, these boys have stepped up a wee bit and are a lot, lot more able to play in the first team. And we've got a lot more confidence about putting them in the team than we did maybe, you know, six months ago or even, you know, at the start of the season. So, in that respect, our squad is bigger. You know, so we've now got McHugh back as well. Um, although we lost Hammy and, and, and Mick now, we feel as if we've got um, a much stronger squad to be able to cope with that sort of loss that we might not be able to do even early in the season. No, you weren't here when Henrik Oyama was, but obviously the fans will know all about him. So he to watch this weekend? Hey, he's in good form now. You know, my understanding is that, you know, he'd done brilliantly here. He came back, didn't do so well, went away again, and now he's come back to... And, uh, he's come back to Dundee and seems to, you know, have found a way of playing with them that suits him. So yeah, I think the boys know him. Some of the boys know him. Certainly, some of the staff know him. Um, but you know, we'll uh, worry more about ourselves than, than them.